Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and this is it. We finally made it. We are on vacation. It's Friday night. I've got my wife's vehicle plugged in in the garage. I have Hilltop Reserve mode turned off, and I have it set for departure mode of 6.30 in the morning. And much like the trip that I took to Rhode Island and back in my Nissan Leaf, we've already plotted out our adventure using PlugShare.com, which is a useful tool if you're going to be taking a long distance trip with an all electric vehicle. I can't emphasize enough how important and easy it is to use the PlugShare website when planning a long distance trip with an all electric vehicle. Knowing what your options are and having a backup plan can make all the difference when setting out on your adventure. So here we are the next morning. The car has been plugged in all night sitting here in the garage. It's about 5.30 a.m. and it's still charging as indicated by the orange light here on my Juicebox Pro 40, but you can also tell that it's charging because of the flashing green light on the dash. And if I get in here real quick and close the door, you'll see here on the center gauge cluster that the estimated time that this vehicle will be fully charged is about 6.30, which is just an hour away. If I go ahead and turn on the vehicle real quick, you can also see that we have an estimated range of about 235 miles and our charging rate is starting to fluctuate as the battery begins to top off here for our trip. So now it's 630 and I just got a message that the car has finished charging as seen there on the dash and also on my EVSE over here. I'll be sure to put the charging stats up here somewhere in the video. But now all I've got to do is unplug and let my wife know that it's time to go and we can hit the road with a fully charged electric car. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Yes, this is uh, going to be an adventure here. We have everything packed in the back here. This is uh, th this is more stuff than we've ever put in the car. If I open this door up, you can see we got everything packed down there. But there's still plenty of room for Ben. If I come over here, hi Ben. Ben thinks it's too much. Nah, you got room, Ben. <laughs> I'm ready. Is Benjamin ready? Yeah! <laughs> and, and Daddy's ready too. Look at this. The car's ready. We have a full charge of 252 miles, max 297, min 206. And we only need to go 160 for our first stop. That's two and a half hours away from here. So let's, uh, let me hit dismiss on that. I want to get a quick picture. Oh, and the mileage. We have 1,327 miles right now. Hi, Ben. Are you ready for our car trip? Mm. Yeah, that's about his mood this morning. Okay, enough. Are you being silly this morning? We've had breakfast. We watched some cartoons. Now we're ready for our car trip. First stop is Marlboro, Massachusetts. We've got about a two and a half hour drive, unless we feel like we want to pull over before then. But by the time we get down there, it'll be time to pull over if we haven't already. And that's the beautiful thing about an electric car. You get out, you charge, uh, you stretch, you know, and by the time uh, you're ready to go, the car should be ready to go, and then you continue on your way. It'd be nice to be able to get out and stretch along the way this year. Yes. Especially because of this one. He does much better when he gets to run around and move and not be strapped yes, in a car does. all day and the person in the truck next to us is looking at us weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch it. I was looking at the lights. <laughs> so we are heading... We're, we're heading to the uh, Ben Famous uh, Waterfall. <laughs> uh, ben Famous Waterfall. <laughs> the, the waterfall that Ben made famous. Because, uh, waterfall. yes, waterfall. <laughs> and unlike the last time, they are actually flowing. We're, we're going we've in a lot other of direction right now. <laughs> yeah, we've also had a lot of rain the last few days, so they are open. We, and had, we had that one uh, YouTuber comment, it's like the most important thing I took away from this video is that that's a waterfall. Yeah, what is that, Ben? A waterfall. That's yes, a waterfall. waterfall. <laughs> we have a lot of uh, snow still melting here in Maine up north, and it's finally coming down in between that and the rain. This is the uh, Lewis and Auburn area. This is the Great Falls, uh, and this is where they have the balloon festival uh, once a year. So, yep. the Great Falls Balloon Festival is down this way. All right, we just uh, got onto, or we're getting onto the interstate right now. We 
have driven eight miles so far. Right, oh. Merge onto I-95 South. <laughs> there you go. She always wants to interrupt me. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to the interstate here. Well, you told me loud. We're not turning around. <laughs> down just a little bit because we do have the heat on right now it's raining there's a couple of things but we only need 160 miles so we've got plenty of range to drive for the next two and a half hours to get to our destination in Massachusetts and we'll charge up and then we'll go from there stay tuned so we are near the bottom of Maine we just passed by the York exit which is interesting because that is when I took my uh, Rhode Island trip in my Nissan Leaf I had to pull off at that exit to get to the Hannaford to charge. Now, we're in the Chevrolet Vault, which obviously has twice the capacity, and if you see right here on the uh, dash, it says we've driven 75 miles, and I remember specifically that I had driven 77 miles in my Nissan Leaf to get to the Hannaford. But again, this is a uh, location that we can uh, skip over because there's no need for us to pull over right now. I still have more than half a tank, uh, quote unquote, half a tank here. Um, so we're just gonna continue on our way. The gasometer right now in the middle says 124 miles that we can drive based off of my driving right now. Uh, the minimum number is still 101 and the maximum is 146. And we only have to go 82 miles to get to our destination. And, and I'm driving at uh, highway speeds too. Let me, we just went through the tolls. So let me lock this back in. So I am locked in at 70 miles an hour here, and that's what I've been driving. You know, I haven't been driving ridiculously fast like some of these people who are doing 80 miles an hour down the interstate, but it's 70 here. I've got it locked in for 70, and I've been doing that this, this whole way, and we've driven 76 or 77 miles now. Oh. You got it? All right. I just dropped the phone. <laughs> all right. So if my wife can hold the camera here, then we'll be all set. But <laughs> We've driven 77 miles, I'm locked in at 70 miles an hour, and we can still do, worst case scenario, 100 miles, according to the gasometer right now. But what we're doing, we're, we're going to do 122 miles before it's time to uh, charge. Uh, but again, we only have 80 miles to go. So, so uh, given that 80 miles, we are, we are doing good. So here we are, we're at the bottom of Maine. We're getting ready to cross over the bridge into New Hampshire. And we are, uh, we are doing good. We still can go 110 miles. We are just above a half a tank on our uh, battery here. So half a charge. We've got half a charge on the battery. And we are now in New Hampshire. There's the state line right there. There we go. The state line. Right there. And we're in New Hampshire. Welcome to New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, look, that's awesome. The GPS actually says <laughs> that. is cool. I'll, that tell, is you, I'll tell you, my, my GPS did not do that when, <laughs> when I took my trip to Rhode Island. I don't think any of our GPSs have ever welcomed us to a state. <laughs> there we go. So we are now in New Hampshire, and we have more than half a charge on this battery. And I got the heat back on again. And even with the heat on our minimum, we can do 88 miles, and we only need to do 75. Uh, the way we're driving right now, 108. Uh, so, yeah be at that fast charger before you know it. So we just got the uh, Welcome to Massachusetts screen and it had a picture of a pilgrim on there so we thought that was funny. <laughs> but we are getting close and we're going to be pulling it off to uh, 495. If you have a mile, use the right two lanes to take exit 59 for I-495 south toward Worcester. Did half a mile. <laughs>
What bed? <laughs> He's watching a movie to keep him entertained. And while he does like the movie he's watching, there are certain parts that freak him out, so that's why his ears are covered right now, so. There's the, uh, 495. So, we, we are now officially off our exit here on 495, and we are just a mile away from our first charging station. And look at where we are on the uh, dash there. We, we still have a quarter of a charge left but we only have to drive a mile now, so this is awesome. <laughs> but this is interesting. We are finally uh, going to be approaching our first destination. And we have not been to this charging station before. Right, right. this is uh, beyond the Solemn Pond Mall. Um, I went to the Solemn Pond Mall on my uh, Rhode Island trip. This one, however, is free. Uh, when I did my trip, I used the Nissan No Charge to Charge program, so I didn't have to pay for any of In that. quarter mile, turn right onto Northboro Road East. And as much as uh, it doesn't bother us, that, you know, we could pay. It would only cost maybe like ten dollars or so to charge. But the, for one, the mall isn't open yet. It doesn't open until ten o'clock. So that's the other reason why we're coming here is because this one apparently is free. So we might as well take advantage of it. This isn't a bad area. There's a Wendy's right there. Of course, There's all kinds of places. Yeah, we're not going to be running It's only uh, 9.21 in the morning, <laughs> yes. so we're not eating yet. Yeah, well, we might, if we can find right something breakfasty, like, East. you know, like some donuts or something. But we ate breakfast before we left this morning, so we really don't need to... Uh, I'm a little hungry. Continue straight. There it is. There it is, and it's open. Okay, and it's at a strip mall. This is nice. Oh, this is a nice area. Oh, this is going to be so cool. <laughs> Try not to do this in here, like, bouncing. Oh, I'm excited. It's, and it's open, so we don't have to go for plan B. Again, the Song Pond Mall would have been our plan B, but we don't have to do that. This is so cool. <laughs> there we go, we get a free charge. Awesome. This is so cool. We made it to our first destination, 158.1 miles driven. We have an efficiency of 3.4 uh, miles to the kilowatt hour. Um, we, we're here, we made it to our first destination. Ben, are you excited? I think he's ready to get out of the car <laughs> as much as the, the rest right. of us. So. We'll, we'll, we'll turn this off and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have some more in just a second. All right, honey. So let's see if you can figure this out. <laughs> Pick up the uh, okay. Okay. hand. Maybe I'm tapping the wrong place, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do this a whole lot like you do, so we're gonna see if we can make this work. There you go. <laughs> all right so it's it's orange so it hasn't uh, started yet so you might have to hit a start button so yeah I think you have to hit start it says connect plug to car I'm gonna unplug it I think we got a little overexcited yep. unplug it put it back on the <laughs> and try again Now let's try it fresh. Oh, now it says press start. So we had to start completely fresh. Yeah. We had confused the poor system. There we go. Charging. There we go. Yay. Oh, so you can take your car back. So next time for future reference, we... We have to make sure that your car is swiped. Right, so why don't you explain it to the lovely people on the screen. <laughs> Wipe your card and you have to literally put it on and move it in front for it to register and then plug your car in and then it will say go ahead and start. Right. So if you do anything out of order or you don't do it. Or you just tap it real quick. It's not, you have to like put the card on there, swipe it around until there's activity on the display. Yeah. And which then if for whatever reason you don't do it in the right order, hit stop, refresh and do it again. That's yes. what we just had to do. <laughs> so, so there we go. It, we're good. Fine. And we're charging. And there it is. And Ben's watching his movie, so he's Ben's watching his movie. Let's go inside, get a view in the car. Yep. There we go. So we're fast charging. Sorry. So I'm going to turn on the vehicle here so we can see. Yep, Ben. Mommy. 
We're gonna get out in a minute, buddy, okay? Oh wow, look at that. It's at 42 kilowatts, constant, 43. That's, that's awesome. That is awesome. So that is definitely charging, and it's definitely charging fast. And we have 50 miles, so what I'm gonna do, let me hit dismiss right here. And then I'm going to reset the distance and, and everything for our next trip. Okay, so that's all been reset now. All right, so we will come back here. We'll come back here when it's done <laughs> or when we're ready because we technically, we just need to go another, what was it, 60 miles or so? 60 or 70 miles. It's like an hour's worth of driving because the next stop that we want to stop at is for lunch and it's got a McDonald's and and the, a Dunkin Donuts. A Dunkin Donuts. A bunch of places yep. we can choose from. So, so. An, an hour here, or not even an hour here, but then an hour of driving, and it's 9.30, so 10.30, 11.30. It'll be lunchtime at that point. Yeah. So we're we're going to check this place out right here. We're going to post on plug share. So we got a couple things we have to do, but yeah, before we'll you know it, yeah, we didn't find a bathroom. <laughs> but before you know it, after after checking this place out, time's going to fly because time flies when you're having fun. And the time did fly because we were having fun. The very first thing we did was check out the Hannaford supermarket because we all needed to use the restroom after the long trip. After which, we walked around and we bought a few snacks for the road. Before you knew it, I got a text message letting me know that the car was near 80%. So we walked back to the car and unplugged and we were on our way. We are now back on the road. We're back on uh, 490, or actually, no, we're not, are we? We're on 495. We are on 495, okay. Anyways, we're back on the road and we're we're headed to our next stop, which is about an hour away. So yeah, we only have to drive 70 miles. We're gonna pull over and get some lunch in about an hour. That charge, by the way, went excellent. We brought it up to about an 80% charge. We didn't have to charge all the way to 100 because we're, we're only driving for another 70 miles. We can do, on our absolute worst, 130 miles. Right now we're getting 159, and our best would be 187. So to only have to drive 70 miles, we, we unplugged, uh, and we're back on the road, and there we go. <laughs> we are at our uh, second stop of the day, and it's actually our, our last stop. Uh, EVGO system here at uh, Dunkin' Donuts, we're in Connecticut, right? Connecticut, yeah. Yep. So we're familiar with these systems, so let's uh, we'll just bring it on over. We arrived here with 44%. So we're already charging 354 volts DC, 100 amps. And we're going to just more or less bring this up to uh, 80 or 90%. So good deal. And this seemed like another quick stop for us because shortly after hooking up to the fast charger, we went inside to get some donuts for Ben. After which, we walked next door to the McDonald's to get lunch for Rebecca and myself. Before you knew it, our quick charge session was up and it was time to move on with our trip. And there we go. I just unhooked from the EVgo charger. We have another 168 miles we can drive. How much did that uh, cost, honey? $9.66. That is crazy. So $9.66 for 24.380 kilowatts. Now, granted, it's much cheaper when you charge at home, but for the convenience of being hooked up and having lunch and you know, doing our thing, I'll, I'll take it. That's, that's awesome. Compared to gas. <laughs> After driving for about another hour or so, we decided to pull over in Greenwich, Connecticut, not because we needed to charge, but because I needed to use the restroom, and it was one of the last stops before crossing over into New York. As I walked by a Tesla owner who was hooked up to the supercharger, we both gave each other a nod of acknowledgement for the vehicles we were driving. So last year when we came down, this bridge was being built, but it wasn't open yet, right? Right. Or was it open? No, it was not open yet. Okay. We, we went over the tap and see last year. Yeah. So this is our first time going over the new bridge, which is very different. 
reminds me of Boston. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Wow. Okay, dude. Yeah, that guy's cruising. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> so this is the new bridge. It's so cool. So pretty. You can see out over the water. It's kind of hard to see with the netting they have. Might show up on camera. Yeah, you know. So that over there, they still have, and they're currently Demolishing taking apart it. the old Tappan Sea Bridge. Ben has already lost interest. <laughs> Apparently the bridge is only cool to mama and daddy. And the fact that we'll be able to do it again on our return trip is going to be amazing. Yeah, Basically. so this is the first time that heading south we have ever made the right turn and been able to go over the bridge. Instead of going over the George Washington Bridge right of, to New York City, which we absolutely did not want to do. Yeah, and we've managed somehow, every time we head south to do that, we've always managed to miss our turn, and we always end up in on the George Washington Bridge, which we hate. So, yay, we finally got it right. <laughs> it only took Thank you, Google Maps and this giant infotainment center that is giving us accurate directions. <laughs> yeah. Having a working GPS is a big plus. Not just working, but an up-to-date GPS too yes. is definitely helpful. And it has welcomed us to every single state. That's the funny thing. Yeah, you get to see a picture of the state, like, you know, the, what did they have in Massachusetts? Pil Pilgrims. Pilgrims, yeah. <laughs> and for those of you who are interested in our uh, stats and everything, right, right here on the... Um, uh, center console here you can see that we are super efficient right now <laughs> we just got off the parkway so that helped where we were making such great time on our trip we decided to cancel our reservation with the hotel just on the other side of the Hudson River in Nanit, New York we came across six EV go stations but unfortunately they were not online when we stopped by on our trip it was really cool, however, to see another company start to do what Tesla has been doing all along. This gives me hope that there will be more EVs on the road as people realize that the fast charging infrastructure is rapidly growing. Because we had planned on charging overnight at the nearby park and ride at the hotel we had originally booked, we were off to find another fast charger, this time at a BMW engineering facility. We wouldn't find out until our return trip home that this place was actually off limits to the public. But for what we needed at the time, it worked out perfectly for us. We ended up making it another hour south to North New Brunswick, New Jersey, where we booked a hotel for the night and we were able to plug in using our portable Level 1 EVSE. The guy at the front desk, Sam, was really helpful and excited for us as he made every accommodation so that we could plug in our car to an outside outlet. This was just what we needed to recoup enough miles by the morning so that we wouldn't have to stop at another fast charger before reaching the Maryland House rest stop the next day. So we just spent our first night in a comfort suite here in North Brunswick, New Jersey. Daddy's downstairs. Yep, Daddy's downstairs. So. This is our room. It's a little bit messy because obviously we just spent the night. This pulled out into a bed so Ben could sleep on it, which was perfect because he's old enough now that I don't have to worry about him rolling off. We have our entryway, microwave, refrigerator, coffee, and of course our bathroom. It's all a mess. But this is further than we originally planned on coming. But it worked out for us, and they even let us charge last night, so we were able to boost up our energy enough so we don't have to make two stops today to charge, just one. We have enough, so I don't know if you can see it, but the yellow charging electrical cord goes across the parking lot. So 
here we are. It's the uh, next morning here. We just woke up from our hotel. Uh, they were nice enough to let us plug in using our level one, which is awesome, because we actually plotted out where the DC fast charger was. And the plan was to spend 45 minutes at the DC fast charger the next day if we weren't able to plug in. But we were able to plug in, so that gave us more than enough miles off of the level one. Granted, we only got like 40 or 50 miles, but it's the 40 or 50 miles we needed to jump over that easy fast charger and get to the next one, which is the Maryland house. So we have like 180 miles that we can do right now. We only have to drive another 120. So, you know, we're not showing up at the Maryland house with just one or two miles and that's what I didn't want to do and that's why we would have stopped at the other DC fast charger had we not been able to plug in at the um, hotel so but we plugged in we got the miles that we needed so we're just gonna do a straight shot to to uh, the Maryland house so that's that's awesome hey Ben are you enjoying the trip yeah exactly. he's enjoying the trip we're on uh, 295 right now we are what, outside of Philadelphia not yet or, but, we're, we're gonna stay away from Philadelphia, but we're on 295 and this is just like, it's so peaceful. I mean, look at the road here. It's, I got it locked in at 65 miles an hour. We only have to drive another 57 uh, miles, 52 minutes away. So I don't know what it'll, if it'll be like this for the next 52 miles, but you know, <laughs> um, it's, it, this, is, this is easy. I like this, so. Hopefully the rest of their trip is as easy as this trip yeah. part is. Yeah, this, this part is like, this is nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Check this out, Ben. That is a big bridge. This is cool. Look, Ben. Keep looking. Look at the bridge. We're going to go over it in a minute. So I wonder what bridge this is. I don't know. They're crossing over the Delaware River. I can tell you oh, that. Oh, is that what this is? Okay. Nice, nice. That's my understanding from looking at Google Maps. <laughs> Welcome to Delaware. There we go. Welcome to Delaware. Hey, I wonder if we've Welcome been to Delaware. I wonder if we were over this bridge. Five years ago. Were we? Is this the bridge? I don't know. It looks vaguely familiar though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I wonder if we took the, the focus over this when, when we uh, went detour. on our honeymoon. <laughs> What's that? When we took our detour. Our detour, yes. Pay toll, $4. <laughs> That's half the amount of charging up this car. <laughs> and I think we kind of found it on accident, and if I remember right, it was raining when we went over it oh, yeah, eight it, years it, ago. It was raining, and then it was pouring when we got to the end. Yeah, so we didn't so get is, to see much of it, because it was... Yeah, this is much better this time around. Oh, this is amazing. And now we have Ben with us. Yeah, we have Ben. Ben, what do you think of the bridge? Is it cool? What do you think? Yeah. No. No. Ben, look, look at it. Can you see the water? No. <laughs> Me silly. And now we're doing it in an electric car. It's amazing. It's very cool. So we finally got the uh, low battery warning. Never seen this before in the Bolt EV. But it's saying that buddy. it's saying that we can only drive 32 more miles or 26 on the minimum. But luckily, the Maryland house is only what, honey? 6.6 .6 miles away. So we just have to drive six miles and we're there. So I'm not worried. It's looking good. If we switch over to energy, that's what it looks like when you get to the bottom of the pack. But again, we've still got those three bars we can burn through. And we're only probably going to burn through one of them. So here we are. We arrived to the Maryland house. And do we have the left? Yes, cars. Here we go. Now we just have to find the uh, DC fast chargers. Here's the gas station. We don't yeah. want that over straight. here. I see Tesla, so it might be near there. Yeah, the other ones at the other place were near there, so I imagine. Oh, right there. Right where? Turn into here. Turn into here. Yep. Your destination is on the left. Right by that tractor. There we go. Yeah, right by a tractor for Ben. <laughs> nice. There they Look, are. and they're all open. They are all open. One, two, three, four. So just pick Four one, right? Four of them. Yep, just nice. pick one. Here we go. And we can definitely use a charge because we pushed it. We're down. There we go. Look at that. I can focus all the above. 26 miles, 21, 31. I mean, we were, and it, it turned orange. And <laughs> because we were able to charge at the hotel the night before, 
We were able to make it all the way to the Maryland house, which at this point we only had about an hour or so of driving left, as my buddy who we were staying with lives right outside Alexandria, Virginia. And because the Maryland house also offers free DC fast charging for the next three years, the one and only stop we had paid for was the one in Connecticut where we had stopped for lunch the day before. All in all, we drove just over 600 miles and paid less than $10 in fueling costs to go that distance. It's a little windy today, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as the technology develops, it's definitely got a lot more advantages. Yeah, I thought it was going to be kind of gutless, but uh, it's got a little bit of zip to it. Yeah. We just came across a Tesla, and it's coming up here on my left. And I believe that is a Model 3. I didn't get a good look at it, but yeah, look at that. <laughs> the Model 3. <laughs>